Howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video for you out of Boise, Idaho here. And uh, I'm working on yet another Ford 2.0 liter engine, ZTEC. I like to say Zedek, just because I think Zedek sounds cool. But anyways, yeah, these 2.0 ZTEC engines, what does that mean? That just means that they have variable valve timing and they can sometimes get complicated. Now this one actually doesn't have variable valve timing on it because it doesn't have the variable valve timing gear so this one is not as complicated but whenever you work on these 2.0 liter liter engines you need to make sure that you time them correctly and that you take no shortcuts whatsoever and sometimes you may find yourself in a position where you're looking at the pulleys here and you just don't see any timing marks whatsoever and so if that's the case, then more than likely you're going to need a special tool. And that's really what you need to time these Ford 2.0 engines. So I'm going to take a moment and show you how we're going to do that. Now, we're, we will be working on two different 2.0 liter engines. I'm going to show you how to time this one while it's here. And by timing, let me back up a little bit. By timing, I mean set it to top dead center so that you can pull and replace your timing belt or your camshafts or anything like that. So what is top dead center? Top dead center, also known as TDC, is when cylinder number one piston is all the way up on the compression stroke, okay? And that's called setting an engine to TDC. And when it comes to these engines, they're so finicky and so picky, there's no room for clearance whatsoever. You absolutely have to time it perfectly and correctly the first time because if not, you'll spend a lot of time and a lot of money and you'll finish your job up. You'll go to start it. You'll end up bending valves and all that other stuff. So let's go take a look at some of the tools we use to time these engines. All right. Now the tools to time and set these engines to TDC, the Ford 2.0, are pretty simple okay you have a metal bar you can kind of see mine's a little scratched up now mine comes out of a master kit that i have so but you can buy just this setup i found online pretty cheap i think it's like 40 bucks okay so this metal bar is perfectly machined perfectly measured perfectly made to fit your in behind your camshafts all right now i've got a 2.0 VVT cylinder head sitting here all right now That's gonna sit here in between these notches. Okay, just like this and you're gonna use this to time The top part of your engine do not ever try to make a shortcut and try to make your own tool if you watch my videos you'll see that I replaced a uh, Ford 2.0 and a Ford Transit Connect and the reason why I had to replace that engine was because another mechanic from what I understand did a timing job on it and from what I understand made his own tools and, you know now and I'm not here to bash anybody or you know talk trash about any about anything like that but bottom line is he made his own tools that was a big no-no in the end we needed to get a whole nother engine because that engine got destroyed so do not take shortcuts on this and try to make your own tools. Now I've got a bottom half of a Ford 2.0 VVT that variable valve timing, also known as ZTEC, that I'm building and putting together. So I'm going to show you where to go to install your pin. I'm going to show you on this engine and then I'm going to show you on the other Ford 2.0 that I have uh, with the engine installed so you can kind of know what to look around and all that other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up to do that. Okay, so on every one of these 2.0 liter engines, okay, right now we would be facing the front of the vehicle with the transmission over here, timing and all front of the engine over there, radiators right here in front of us, all that other stuff, okay? So on every 2.0, you find your transmission, find your transmission bell housing right here where it all bolts together, okay, and then go over and you'll see your crank sensor here and then right here in between this part here and this part here always is where you will find your plug for your hole okay so transmission plug all right 
Now, the exhaust sits right here also. I'm going to show you that on the other engine. So what you want to do is you want to remove your plug, and it's going to be either anywhere ranging from a 10 to a 13 millimeter plug. Just remove your plug. Now, you're not going to be able to see in there at all, but I'm going to show you what it looks like in there. Right now, this engine is not set to TDC. So you can look at the piston here, and you can see that the piston is not all the way up flush right here. So let's go ahead and get my camera out, and let's just kind of take a peek in there and see what it looks like. All right, so I've got my inspection camera out and inside of this hole for you here, okay? And if you look at the screen here, you can't see anything. It's just like a black hole. Okay, you can kind of see some like stuff in there, All right, but you don't see much. That's because this engine isn't set to TDC, so there's nothing there for your pin to lock into. So let's go ahead and get it set to TDC and take a peek what's in there next. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly rotate the engine until my cylinder number one piston comes all the way up. All right, and that should be TDC. So just for fun, let's look and see what it looks like inside of that hole now. Now, unless you have an inspection camera, you're not gonna be able to do this, but I just kinda wanted to show you. All right, now that we're set to TDC, you can see on the camera clearly that there is something in there. It's an ear, basically, a little ear. And that that's where your pin is gonna go into. Okay, pretty cool, huh? All right, so, so now you kind of know what it looks like in there, but you're not going to be able to shine a flashlight and look in there and see that I've tried. So there's your hole. So now what you want to do is you want to find the right pin. Now, I already know that the correct pin is going to be this long one. I'm going to show you how we know that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get it installed. We're going to insert the pin. Don't force it at all. Let me get some focus here for you guys. There we go. Okay, don't force it. Install it by hand. And it should go all the way in and flush. Okay? That's all you should have to do. If you screw it in and it doesn't screw all the, all the way in, it only screws partially all the way in, then you are not set at TDC. And you need to readjust. So the pin goes all the way in, and just to double check, go ahead and take your socket, and you don't need to use a lot of force, but as you can see, that engine will not turn over. So that pin now has it locked to TDC. Well, what happens if I install the smaller pin? What happens if I install this pin? Well, let's find out real quick. Okay, so I'm set at what I think is TDC, and I've installed my smaller pin. All right, and it installed just fine, had no problems. However, when I go over here to check it, look at that. Barely even got to touch it. Engine turns over, that should not be happening. So obviously that pin is not touching anything and it's not locking anything into place. So that's how you can check to make sure that you've installed the proper pin. It's not gonna move. Do not try to use these pins to lock your engine in place to remove any nuts and bolts off of it. You'll be very sorry. They're not hard metal at all. They're very soft, easy to bend and break. So let's go ahead and go out back now and let's look at setting TDC on that other Ford 2.0 that I have. All right, so here we are with a 2.0 that's obviously installed in a car. Now I've got the valve cover removed because I'm gonna be using the cam lobes on cylinder number one, the intake and exhaust cam lobes here on cylinder number one to help me determine whether or not I'm at top dead center or whether or not the piston is all the way up. How am I gonna know that? Well, these cam lobes are gonna be facing a certain way 
And when they're facing a certain way, that means that all four valves are closed. And with all four valves being closed, that means that the piston is all the way up on the compression stroke. So I've also got my spark plugs removed because that's going to make it easy for me to uh, turn the engine over by hand. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this set up for TDC and then show you what it looks like. With the engine installed and everything in place, if you can see, you see at the tip of my finger, that stud down there. Let's see if I can get you down in there. Um, okay. Let me snake my hand down in here. Right there. All right. And here's your sensor. Again, right behind the sensor. Let's go underneath and see if we can take a peek at it. Okay, here we are underneath. Here's your exhaust system. There's your transmission. There's your sensor. There's your your plug right there. Okay, this one is a 13 millimeter. I already got it loose. So I'm gonna pull it out. And voila. There we go. And so that's where you're gonna install your your stud and again don't take any chances buy the right tool and don't take any shortcuts on this one so let's go ahead and get this engine set to TDC and I'll show you what that looks like all right now what I've done is I've turned the crank by hand until both of my front cam lobes are facing outward and slightly upward as you can see all right, and that's how I know all four valves are closed. Now then, I've also taken a tool, an extension, and I've fed it down into where my piston is, where my spark plug goes, and I can feel that the piston is all the way up. And last but not least, most importantly, on the top half, I have been able to install my timing tool. All right, and that is an extremely tight fit. It's perfectly done. So I now know that the top half of this engine is set to TDC. So the main kicker now will be, can I install my, uh, my bottom pin? If I can install my bottom pin, then we're good to go. And we can go ahead and, and start taking the timing belt off and all that other good stuff. All right, so here we go. All right, so now I've got the longer of the two pins installed in the bottom half and what I've went ahead and done is I've backed out my upper timing tool okay it'll still go in and come out just fine all right but I want to know remember I want to know if I've got the right pin installed so I'm just gonna go over here I'm just gonna give it a little wiggle Okay, no. So, yeah, we're good. Engine didn't move. And our timing tool reinstalled. So, now, we know that our piston is all the way up because we can feel it. We have our top timing tool for the camshaft properly installed. And we went ahead and double-checked our timing pin by making sure the engine doesn't turn over as far as i'm concerned we're good to go let's start getting the timing belt off of this engine and uh let's get this show on the road all right everybody well hopefully that gives you some good information on how to time the ford 2.0 liter engine using the proper tools once again do not try to make these tools or try to cut corners and time it yourself you will be sorry all right, folks. Well, thanks for coming out and watching my videos. Thanks for supporting me. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.